For over 15 years, the geotextile encased column system has been employed for the foundations of earth construction works on very soft soils. This film explains the function and performance of the system as well as its advantages by means of a report of a building project in northern Germany. Around 15 years ago, Merbius and Husker working jointly with the engineering firm Kempfert & Partner from Würzburg, developed a specialized foundation system for earthwork foundations located in areas with organic soils of low shear strengths. For the creation of a geotextile encased column, a steel pipe sealed at the bottom is driven into the ground, displacing the soft soils laterally. The installation depth of the steel displacement pipe depends on the thickness of the soft soil layer and it is selected in such a way that the tip penetrates into the underlying load-bearing soil layer. After hanging the geotextile ring track sleeve in place inside the steel installation pipe, it's filled with sand or gravel. While the surrounding pipe is being extracted under continuous vibration, the fill material within the geotextile sleeve is compacted. In this way, one column after another is installed according to a predetermined grid pattern. Just above the column tops, a load-bearing layer is constructed with a stiff horizontal geosynthetic reinforcement, highly resistant to tensile stress. This horizontal reinforcement is used for overall basal stability, absorbing lateral extrusion forces and allowing the effective transfer of vertical loading into the columns. As the load upon the columns grows, due to the incremental increase in height of the overlying embankment structure, the columns expand slightly and therefore produce the tensile ring forces within the geotextile sleeves. Additionally, the encased columns act as mega drains, increasing the vertical consolidation process of the soft soils. The improvement of the ground's bearing capacity continues as embankment construction progresses. Consequently, the majority of the consolidation settlement has ended when the road structure is completed. Only very minor settlement occurs after the road is operational. The ring track geotextile sleeves which encase the columns are manufactured by Husker Synthetic from Gescher in Westmünsterland, Germany. The geotextile encased columns consist of a confined, compacted sand or gravel. The columns are then subjected to vertical pressure which causes them to expand radially outward. This is counteracted by the highly uniform geotextile sleeve. The required sleeve strength and the system performance are calculated using an official computational method detailed in the most recent edition of EBGEO 2010. For every construction project with geotextile encased columns, the load-bearing system is dimensioned depending on the project-specific boundary conditions. The dimensioning determines the column grid spacings, the required tensile strength of the reinforcement of the sleeve, as well as the overlying horizontal reinforcement element. The seamless sleeve manufacturing technology of Husker offers a decisive advantage for economic design. When you attempt to produce circular sleeves from a flat textile sheet, you always need a connecting seam, which automatically forms a weak point. However, this is not the case in the production of our ring track sleeves, which use a radial weaving technology. Therefore, there are no seams, so there are no weak points, and the material provides 100% tensile load transfer in the most efficient manner. The geotextile sleeve is supplied to the construction sites at the required strength and specified design diameter in the form of rolls. The sleeves for each individual column are pre-cut on site to the desired length according to the specifications of the design. They are then stored in marked boxes ready for transport to the installation rigs. The production of the GEC takes place with a piling machine on which a leader-mounted vibrator device is operated. On his display, the rig operator sees the column plan and, with the use of GPS, identifies the correct position for the displacement pipe. For each column, all installation-related machine readings are automatically recorded and can be printed out in the form of an installation summary for each column location. After closing the flap-operated foot valves, the steel pipe is then sunk under vibration 
down through the soft materials to the bearing soils into which the GEC will be founded. The surrounding low strength soils are displaced during this process. Subsequently, the pre-cut geotextile sleeve, which will ultimately form the casing of the column, is secured to the top of the installation pipe. The sleeve is then allowed to unroll inside the empty core of the installation pipe. To assist accurate and efficient filling of the geotextile sleeve, a funnel is placed at the top of the installation pipe. The non-cohesive material used for the column fill must have sufficient water permeability and shear strength to meet the design specifications. If necessary, an approximately one meter thick sealing layer of a sand betonite mixture can be installed in the base of the column for the protection of aquifers or to prevent the migration of contaminants into an aquifer. Once the column is filled and the funnel has been removed, the geotextile sleeve is detached from the installation pipe. The hinged flaps at the bottom of the installation pipe will open automatically due to the weight of the sand column when the pipe extraction process begins. The column material is compacted in place as the installation pipe is pulled up under vibration. A high tensile horizontal geotextile is laid above the column heads. The strength of the reinforcement is based on the design calculations regarding the overall global stability of the above embankment. Furthermore, the horizontal reinforcement absorbs the lateral stresses below the side slopes and helps to equalize the expected subsidence. Embankment structures already constructed with GEC substructures have been remotely monitored by Mobius. Such individual structures have been observed for over 10 years, enabling the verification of the deformation predictions for the long-term behavior of the substructure systems. The GEC system offers the following decisive advantages compared to other soil improvement and foundation techniques. Use in extremely soft soils, often with numerous soil layers of differing materials. Immediate loadability of the GECs. GECs act as large vertical drains. The overall system is self-regulating, flexible and very robust. Environmentally advantageous due to reduced footprint width, allowing less consumption of land and a lack of excavated material needing to be disposed of.